majestic in the morning light, a grand dame overlooking the Atlantic, witness and host to more than a century of history. It was 1873 when the Ocean Bluff Hotel was first built on this promontory where the Kennebunk River spills to the sea. A quarter century later, it burned to the ground, and in 1914, the Breakwater Court rose from her ashes. And this attractive Yankee soon drew the attention of a Southern Belle, the iconic Colony Hotel of Delray Beach, Florida. The Boughton family, who owned the colony, thought the breakwater would make a perfect summer companion to their winter resort. They needed something to do with their staff in the summer, so what they did was they purchased a hotel here so they could bring their staff north and south. In 1947, the marriage was complete and the breakwater took the colony name. The two hotels have remained in the Boughton family ever since. Ted visited with Justina Boughton in Delray in 2018. In Maine, we meet managing partner John Martin, who values the historic relevance of this 105-year-old landmark. We are trying to not preserve history like Colonial Williamsburg necessarily, but we're trying to stay true to the nature of the colony. And it takes a long time to get sort of your arms wrapped around that concept and then try to stay with it. So renovate it, make it beautiful, but make it true to what it is. That means spending more than a million dollars each year on renovations. We try to do something that's kind of attractive to the front of house that people would notice. Carpeting, flooring, drapes. But then obviously there's a whole bunch of really boring things like foundations and heat systems and other things that have to go on behind the scenes. And of course, if you need a change of scene, Kennebunkport has plenty to offer. Shopping, dining, more shopping, and a vibrant artistic community. A good deal of that represented at Main Art Hill right downtown. If the kinetic sculptures of artist Lyman Whitaker outside don't grab your attention. A lot of people, they've never seen them before. They've never seen anything like it then perhaps the vivid landscapes inside will. I hope that visitors to Main Art Hill get to see the many talents that a lot of local artists have, from oil painting to glass blowing. We try to show a variety of mediums. Between the main gallery, exhibit space at the adjacent Grand Hotel, seven new micro galleries and regular pop-ups, there are diverse and ever-changing offerings. Abby Daggett and Nate Rudder are gallery managers. We really just want them to see the world through the eyes of the artist. It's very interesting to see what other people see and what they're capable of creating and their talents. We are as actively involved as people want us to be. We're happy to, to walk around and explain each artwork or we're happy to let people browse. We want people to experience the gallery and the art and the artist in whatever way they would like. If you want to find your own inspiration, take in the views from a sailboat charter on the Pineapple Catch. The owner had a dream that he was out at sea and a sailboat sailed by with red sails, tan bark sails, black hull, and a pineapple on the mainsail. And it fit perfectly because, of course, uh, the pineapple is a symbol for hospitality. The 42-foot sailboat can get you upriver or offshore for some breathtaking views of the main coastline. A joy every time for Captain Jim Cheney. I just love the act of sailing. I love meeting people from all over the world. Just allowing people to experience sailing touches me. See people who walk away from the boat going, wow, that was amazing. Passions run deep in Kennebunkport, from sailors to artists to Ricky Dumont of Jamaica, chef at the Colony Hotel for the past 17 years. Is there something you like to make the most? Or you I don't it? like anything. <laughs> what do you mean? I absolutely love what I do. So it's hard to just like and love. From his signature mussels appetizer to his salmon or his tomahawk pork chop, Ricky says the hotel will bring people his food will keep them. Not just to come to a beautiful resort. If the food is not right, you're gonna feel like it's not worth the trip. I like to make people happy with my food. Pride of purpose, pride of place. The colony exhibits both as a historic grand hotel. I think these hotels are kind of a focal point for the area. 
Even if you don't go to them, just driving by them is an experience. And so I think that's part of our responsibility as innkeepers is maintaining the colony as an entity for people to see throughout the town. And it's pretty incredible with so much competition within the hotel industry mm. that two hotels have remained independent and family owned since the 1940s. Yeah, and John Martin's actually part of that family. His mother went into labor with him <laughs> at the colony in Kennebunkport. His maternal grandfather was the general manager of both properties, so he has followed in those footsteps. Very much family owned. And we should tell you the Kennebunkport property closed now until May. The Delray property, though, now mm. open year-round. Very nice. In the Berkshires, Erica books a room at Blantyre.